Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Sands and I am very excited because today marks the day that we're going to start uploading YouTube videos again. Real quick before I get into this video, I just wanted to point out that this is not today's official video. There's going to be another video going up today at 2 p.m. Central Time, but I figured I'd go ahead and upload this one first because I'm sure a lot of you are wondering where I've been. So I'll start with me. Uh, like I said, my name is Ryan Sands. I've been creating YouTube videos for two years now. For the most part, we make comedic gaming videos here. So kind of like the game grumps that's who we've been compared to before <laughs> not, not to brag or anything i'll get into a little bit more about the history of the channel later on but first i wanted to talk about myself and where i've been because i kind of just dipped i do apologize about that life got super complicated in the time span of like two months and it just got really hectic for me where the channel was at when we decided to stop making videos is i hired editors because i didn't have the time to be editing the videos the style that we were editing them before we were doing a style of video that required a lot of cuts and a lot of edits to be entertaining and that just it takes a lot of time to put it in perspective it probably took like 8 to 12 hours per video to make them any bit of good and uh, so I just decided that having editors on the team to do it for me was the best option however a lot of the editors that we hired were really young not to say that they weren't good editors but they were not not the most responsible editors and I cannot blame them when I was 16 years old I was pretty irresponsible so I'm not upset about that but that just meant that somebody needed to be in charge of them so I took our lead editor at the time who was Robinson or as many of you know him Westbot and I told him you know manage the editors but he had been struggling up until that point with whether or not he even wanted to be an editor and I thought this was going to be less work for him and it ended up being a lot more work for him and he just came to me and he was like, hey man, I don't really want to do this anymore. And there's no hard feelings. I mean, if he doesn't want to do it, I'm not going to force him to, and I'm not going to be upset with him for telling me how he feels. He just decided he wasn't going to go through with it. And where I was at at the time, which I'm about to get into, I didn't really have the ability to take back on the full duty of managing these younger editors and also making sure the content was quality. And the last thing I wanted to do was produce content that wasn't entertaining or quality for the people of my audience. The people of my audience, that's a good one. So where I was at, I got a promotion at my job, which was cool, but it took a little bit more time. And the main thing that was taking all my time was that I fell in love. I'm not gonna go into details about that situation because it's none of your business. But what I will say is that it got really complicated. And so, I had to decide what was most important to me and what I decided was that spending time with that person was most important to me and I don't regret that decision. Uh, I just wish that I had found a way to keep the channel going at the time but my head wasn't really where it needed to be just because of the complicated stuff that was going on within that relationship. The good news is with the new style of videos that I'm creating, no matter what happens, whether I enter back into that relationship I was in before or all the editors decide to quit, it doesn't matter because I will still be able to make the videos. They're just not as hard to make anymore. I'll touch more on that later, but amongst those things, my heart also wasn't really behind the content that I was making. I was trying to succeed at YouTube so I could make money in order to support myself and the people I care about. And I was trying to do it so quickly that I was just playing to the algorithm instead of what made me happy as a creator. And if you watched any of my old videos, you know that YouTube really, really liked to push the AI videos. AI is good, but it got so old for me. You can only make stories where you murder people so many times with AI before it gets old. You guys seem to enjoy it the entire time though, which is kind of concerning because some of those AI stories went a little bit too far. Nonetheless, if you were a fan of those old videos that I used to make, then you can find those all in the playlist called Chucky Archives. They will forever be honored there. <laughs> I don't know if they should be honored though. Anyways, I just didn't have a lot of time. My head wasn't in the right space and I just had to take a break because it's just what I needed at the time. It was what was right for me. That said, I'm a new person now and I am really glad that I had all this time to myself to find out who I am 
and decide what I wanted out of life. I cleared my head. I started a healthy routine where I'm eating healthier and I'm working out daily, which is awesome. I became a lot closer with God through the struggles that I've been going through recently. And for that, I am very thankful. Uh, you do not have to be religious to watch our channel, but I personally am. I have become really close with God and I just have a lot of faith in him because he's gotten me through some really tough times in life. I will never force my religion on anybody, but if you want to talk about God, DM me. I'd be happy to do that. I've also made some new friends during this time, including one Mr. Daniel. The ambassadors for the Supreme Chancellor request permission to board. Who will be in the episode that goes up later today. He's a really funny guy. I will tell you, he is new to the whole YouTube thing. He did fan freaking tastic during the warm up videos that we put on our Patreon. By the way, the link's in the description if you want to go check that out. But he did not do as great on these first few episodes. So give him some leniency and give the whole channel some leniency. Don't don't judge the whole channel based off of these first episodes that you see, because we have room to improve as we always will. The goal is to continue to get better and to make content that makes people happy. I think he got nervous since these are the actual videos and he knows a lot of people are probably going to be seeing these. But that said, he still did a really good job. I'm proud of him. I'm thankful for him. And I I think he was pretty funny in these first episodes. So tell me what you guys think um, and where you think that myself and him both can improve. I'll get into this later, but I made the old channel with my friend Alex. Dude, this is such bullshit. Yeah. I'm hitting you every f Yeah! Oh, congrats oh, oh, congratulations. You won the floating drum, you dick. This is the first time in either of the channel's histories that I've ever won anything. And we had a falling out, it was not good. But I have reconciled with him since then and he will also be creating videos with us on the channel. And I am so excited for that because our first episodes, uh, me and him recorded It Takes Two, which is a really fun game. Really great job by the developers, by the way. But that's beside the point because the videos were awesome. They were so funny and you should definitely check those out. The first episode goes up tomorrow. And finally, uh, the big thing that I just did, <laughs> I'm still a little bit scared when it comes to this. I recently quit my job, which paid for the whole studio, and, th and then I quit. <laughs> it was a really good paying job, but some stuff went down with the owners, and I just decided that it wasn't for me, because it wasn't making me happy, it wasn't making me feel fulfilled like I want to with my job where whatever it's going to be in the future and so I just quit it's kind of scary because I'm running out of money <laughs> fast but uh it gives me a lot of time to focus on this and to focus on doing things that I want to do and hopefully I can figure out what I'm supposed to be doing in life because I feel like there's something for everybody and I just haven't found my thing yet I'd love for it to be YouTube but this is just a dream until it can actually provide for me. And so until it's providing for me, I have to treat it as a side hobby more so than a career. But don't let that fool you. I'm still gonna put a lot of time and effort into this channel because like I said before, I wanna make quality content that makes people happy. And now that I have this different outlook on life, I know that I wanna make people happy more than ever now. And I hope that I can do that through this channel. Now I'd like to give a little bit of channel history to you guys in case you're wondering where we came from. This channel was created March 16th, 2020 by me and Alex. And it was a comedic gaming channel from the start, but we started off actually called Chalky Milkman. <laughs> pretty cool right <laughs> i think personally that it's a solid name it really played into the meme culture at the time because chalky milk was a big thing and uh it's just a fun play on words plus freaking love chocolate milk it's amazing if you don't like chocolate milk you're wrong F strawberry milk we recorded for quite some time and my girlfriend at the time whose name was ali made the thumbnails for the channel. Alex's girlfriend at the time, whose name was Jenna, made the art for the channel. Uh, so that we're not dating either of them anymore. Things happen. But I just want to say thank you to those two in case they ever see this, because while they are not our girlfriends any longer, 
we really appreciate what you did for us back then. I know Alex does, and I definitely do as well. And Allie, when we broke up, even taught me how to make thumbnails because she was making the thumbnails and she didn't want to leave me hanging. And so that's the only way I even know how to make thumbnails. So appreciate that, Ali. Then I gotta mention this. It's a sad day. It's not my favorite thing to talk about, but me and Alex had a falling out uh, just because expectations between the two of us were not set and I wanted more from him than he was willing to give at the time. And I kicked him off the channel. I'm sorry, Alex, it, you know, sorry <laughs> we're totally cool now i mean you'll see in the video we have the best of times together um he's moved all around the country he was in north carolina indiana uh texas he's been a lot of places so i'm sure he has a lot of stories to share with us while we play our uh series and different games on the channel uh but yeah i'm excited to have him back and i'm glad that me and him are friends again because while he can be an idiot sometimes he's also a lot of fun to be around at least for me because we just get each other you know we've been friends since first or second grade so it just it just works i don't know if i mentioned this yet but that was on october 16th 2020 when i kicked alex off of the channel and at that point i decided i was going to make videos by myself for a little while i had some guests on the channel uh from time to time but for the most part it was just me and i made videos all the way up until march 31st 2022 which is just recently just about six months or so ago that might be wrong i'm not good with months so sorry <laughs> as i said before along the way i hired editors so such as Robinson and then eventually Franklin and Prangle who are supposed to be on the team still although I haven't heard from Prangle so I'm about to edit his video myself today. I don't know if they're going to be permanently part of the team but I'm thankful that they're here now and if they decide to leave that's okay. Like I said, I can do it on my own. That brings us to the day where now we're making new history and we're starting the channel back and then maybe one day in the future I'll be talking about this day again. So now that you know how we've gotten here, let's talk about what's new. For starters, we'll go with the obvious stuff. Uh, there's a new channel name. We went with Full Moon, but full is spelled F-O-O-L. Isn't that clever? We also have new channel art and animations that go at the beginning and end of our videos. Shout out to Kevin Morla for that. I hope that I remember to put his information in the description below if you'd like to hire him for one of your projects. One of the biggest changes is the style of videos that we're going to upload now. Instead of doing the high paced, lots of cuts, lots of edit videos that we did in the past, we're going to be doing 30 minute long episodes every single day that have little to no cuts and are just straightforward me somebody else hanging out playing the game and having a good time within these videos we're going to be doing a lot of series gameplay so the first series that we're starting today is lego star wars the skywalker saga and then tomorrow the first episode of the it takes two series will launch and i'm really excited about those uh, both of those games are really really fun and i can't wait for you guys to see those first episodes we're also going to be doing some bet gameplay and if you don't know what that means let me explain so if you've watched our old episodes you know that me and Alex used to make crazy bets and do lots of dumb shit in some of our videos. For example, one time Alex lost at a game called Project Pong. So uh, reasonably, we set his shoes on fire. I'm pretty sure Alex beat me at one of the Call of Duty games and I got duct taped to the wall behind me. That didn't last very long. I also threw eggs at Alex, had a big hairy man tell him he sucks at Minecraft. <coughs> Uh, dear Alex Wiener Boy, I've recently been informed that you have a small pee pee, but more importantly, I've been made aware that you are absolutely shit at Minecraft. There's been a lot of great moments throughout our channel's history, but we're gonna do more bets like that, and I'm not gonna spoil anything, but there's some really good bets coming your way. We've, we've come up with some good ideas. Some of them are also kind of concerning, uh, but we're... we're we'll try not to take it too far we also have a new discord server which if you'd like to join you can find the link to that in the description below and as far as social media goes we're going to be focusing on our patreon page as well as instagram and maybe tiktok in the future if i feel like it we're trying to keep it small right now to keep the workload down because i'm going to be doing most of the work and like i said i don't want to be doing that much i'll work hard on the things that i do 
but if I spread myself out too thin, then it's gonna lack quality and I'm gonna lack the effort to get all of that stuff done. But like I said, we're gonna be making content that's very similar to the Game Grumps, if you've ever seen them before. They are very popular on YouTube. They have a lot of subscribers and it's a real compliment when people in the past have compared us to them. And that's kind of what inspired us to wanna make videos like them. That said, we know that we're not the Game Grumps and we're not gonna try to be the Game Grumps. Grumps. We're gonna be ourselves and we're gonna have fun and if you enjoy our content, I hope you stick around. Before I end the video, I'd like to thank all of the people who have gotten me to the point that I'm at right now. For starters, my family, um, my mom and my dad both have been very supportive in getting me to where I am today. Uh, even though I haven't been the most successful on YouTube so far, they continue to support me and they want me to chase my dreams and that means a lot to me and without that, without their support and uh, their encouragement, I don't know if I would be here. So thanks to them. Even further thanks to my dad for helping me with the studio. He did a lot of work on this studio with me and I really appreciate that because he's a very handy man and he taught me how to do some things that I didn't know how to do. And I'll go ahead and post a picture of the studio at this part and it just, it looks amazing. I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I'm really glad that I get to record videos in such a cool looking studio. So thanks dad. I also wanna thank the bosses of my previous job even though things kind of went sideways at the very end. Uh, they offered me a position at one point that let me eventually pay for everything that I have today. So very thankful for that. And uh, it allowed me to create all of this. I'd also like to thank Alex and Daniel for being a part of this. I met Daniel probably like four times total before we started recording videos together. And he agreed to be part of this, which at first, you know, if somebody you barely know asks you to be on a YouTube channel, you're probably like, Mm, that's kind of weird, but not Daniel. Daniel was all for it and he's a super nice guy. He's super funny. I think he's going to do a great job here. Uh, however, keep in mind, he is going to France for a year pretty soon. So he might not be around that often, but you never know if we get a butt ton of subscribers, maybe he'll come back from France and say bonjour to the, that's, that's hello. Uh, I don't know French. And as for Alex, after the way things ended last time, it's mighty wide of him to come back. I'd also like to thank all of the loved ones throughout my entire life who have made me who I am today, uh, from a young child to uh, the people who I surround myself with today. Uh, there's been a lot of influential people in my life who have made me who I am. And if you guys enjoy me, you should thank them too, because those people are pretty awesome and I, I like who I am, so I'm thankful for those people. There's only a couple more thanks, just bear with me for a second. I want to thank my community for supporting me during this downtime. I had people stay part of my Patreon throughout the months that I didn't upload. And I'm really thankful for every single one of them because uh, I realized afterwards they, they knew that they were part of my Patreon. They didn't just forget it. They just decided to continue supporting me in hopes that I'd come back because some people just loved my content like that. And that means a lot to me. So thank you guys for your support and for the community. Um, I recently opened up the new Discord server and we have like 50 people already, like people who were waiting for me to come back or who loved what I did before so much that they decided to be part of it again. And uh, just thank you to all of you guys for your support throughout the years. Y you really, if it weren't for y'all, I wouldn't be doing this because I started this for fun and it was the love of the people and the feeling that I get from entertaining people and making people happy that makes this worth it and makes me want to continue to be part of this. So big thanks to you guys and big thanks to all the people who are going to join the community in the future. Even if I don't know you yet, I am thankful for every single person who joins the community and who supports us and who allows me to get one step closer to my dream that is to do this for a living. I know to make that a reality is next to impossible with all of the competition and all the people out there who want to do the same exact thing but nonetheless if i can see that i've made somebody happy or put a smile on somebody's face and you say hey i really enjoyed that video or whatever 
That means a lot to me and a lot to the whole team. I can speak for all of them because it's just a really good feeling when you get recognized for hard work that you do. And you know, you make somebody's day through that. The final person and the most important person who I want to thank is God, because as I said before, I've gotten a lot closer with God. And if it weren't for him, I, I don't want to know where I'd be. There's been some really difficult times that I've dealt with in my life. And you know, you may not believe in God and that's okay if you don't. But personally, I think that God is real. And I think if it weren't for him, that I would be in a really dark place or maybe not even alive at this point, you know? It hasn't just been one situation in particular. There's been a lot of different things that have happened over the past few months that have been really difficult to deal with mentally and physically and just different things. And so um, just having God to talk to and, to, you know, give me the reassurance and the confidence that i need to get through the difficult times has been a blessing and i'm i'm thankful for that i'm not always the best example of what somebody should be on this earth i'm not the best person by any means but uh the god that i know is loving and forgiving and uh this is a great example i'm gonna do and say some things that i probably shouldn't do or say on this channel and uh even though that's the case i can still have this relationship with god and for that i am forever thankful god accepts me even though sometimes i'm a moron <laughs> but that said i love all of you i'm very thankful that you guys are a part of this channel part of this journey and that you stuck around with me or maybe you're just now finding me and you're excited about what comes next whether regardless of what it is thank you for being here it, it means a lot to me and to the team i know they're not here to tell you but i know it means a lot to them too i can't wait to make content for you guys again i feel really good about the channel this time around i cannot wait to put some more smiles on your faces with the videos that we upload i hope you guys have an amazing day and i will see you guys next time